weekend. Here's a shot from earlier today of Cayucas where conditions were just perfect for the beach and that's going to continue throughout the weekend. That's going to be the best place to go for when this hot weather really starts to settle in to get a break from that because beaches were looking at around mid to high 60s, which is just great beach weather. Right now it's starting to cool off from where we saw today, 64 in Santa Barbara. 58 in Santa Maria, 58 in San Luis Obispo, and 72 in Paso Robles. Still a little bit warm up in Paso Robles, hanging on to that heat, and it's going to really pick up into the weekend. Here is how hot things got today. Pismo Beach, 68. Lompoc, 68. Paso Robles got up to 100, and that's going to seem pretty cool when you consider what the rest of the weekend's got in store for us. Santa Barbara was 88, San Luis Obispo 78, Santa Maria 73 degrees and 90 in San Inez. If you're going to enjoy the Mid-State Fair for the last weekend up in Paso Robles, here's what tomorrow is going to look like for you. By noon already, 92 degrees, so it's going to be a toasty one. You can tell just before uh, we get into the mid-afternoon, it starts to tick up to 103 and it could get up to 106 tomorrow. So we're expecting some very warm conditions with some pretty moderate wind speed, so maybe that'll help out a little bit, but do be prepared if you're heading out to the fair tomorrow with your water and your sunscreen and just be ready for those really warm conditions, not to leave us really after uh, 10 to 11. It's still going to be 74 degrees by tomorrow night, so do keep that in mind. Right now, the wind conditions are slowing down from what we saw earlier today, so they're uh, about fresh conditions, so, you know, northwest 10 miles per hour in San Luis Obispo, 8 miles per hour in Paso Robles. The coastline has calmed down a bit from earlier today, but we are going to see wind speeds start to pick up into tomorrow throughout the weekend and really lasting until about Thursday. Our upper level, upper level forecast shows that ridge of high heat coming into the area. So you can see this darker color purple right here. That's where that heat source is coming in and it's coating us. So we're going to be a part of that upper level ridge that's packing in all of that heat. And you can see it really start to take hold by Saturday. So tomorrow into Sunday and we're going to have a heat advisory actually in place because of how hot it's going to get. By Monday though, you can see that start to move away from us as those onshore winds start to push in some marine layer and cool down the area. So by Monday into Wednesday, we're expecting conditions to cool down a little bit, get a little more comfortable. As I mentioned, heat advisory for inland valleys tomorrow starting at 11 a.m. going into Sunday evening. As I mentioned, that microclimate model, you can see that moving into the area through Sunday and into Monday, and that's going to help give us a little bit of a reprieve from all that hot weather we're seeing. Forecast for tomorrow, as I mentioned, hotter conditions, 87 Santa Barbara, Lompoc 73, Santa Maria 77, 82 in San Luis Obispo, and 106 in Paso Robles. Just about everywhere uh, you look on the coastline, it's going to be high 60s, low 70s. Inland areas, we're looking at the 90s. Five cities area, pretty much similar to Santa Barbara County. We're looking at 70s here, 60s on the coastline, 100 inland. Uh, in northern San Luis Obispo County, same kind of situation there. Keeping in mind the five-day forecast, tomorrow is going to be one of the hottest days. Sunday, probably the hottest day before we start to back off Monday into Wednesday. Um, Paso Robles is going to get really hot this weekend, backing off into about 93 by Wednesday. And then tomorrow in San Luis Obispo, we're looking at low 80s, finally cooling off as we get into the week. Richard?